Hello friends, this is Kishore. Soil test is very crucial regarding the agriculture practices for getting good yields and as also for maintaining good health of the soil. But it is difficult from the farmer's perspective. So now we have one guest, Milin Deshpande, and he is the founder of Bhumi Seva. Hi sir, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, can you tell about the Bhumi Seva? Yeah, Bhumi Seva is a basically new company formed for uh, promoting soil test. This initiative will basically, we have a distributorship from product from High Media. This product actually is developed by Krishi Tantra. Krishi Tantra is a company which is a, a startup again. They developed this particular product. They developed a, a portal also from for government entity. This product basically is a automated soil testing equipment which gives a soil test in just 30 minutes. In conventional methods, when we take a soil test, it takes around four to five hours for a particular soil test. In this particular uh, equipment, the soil test is done in 30 minutes. And it is an automated uh, process where all 21 chemicals it tests and on the basis of spectroscopy, it generates the report. And this gen generated report is uploaded on the government website directly. So main power of this particular thing is ICAR, IRR which has been developed this equipment along with Kushidandra. ICR approved this product? Yeah, ICR has developed and approved both. It has been approved by them and uh, a report comes with ICR logos on that, Government of India logo on that. So everything is uh, approved. When it came into the market? Jointly developed by Kushidandra and High Media. The first version came two years ago. Uh, that was called as Kushidandra. Now when High Media developed the chemistry on that particular thing, now it is a Bhuvijan. Rasta, which has come uh, six months ago. Okay, what is the unique features of this product? This product actually is first important point is uh, first USP is it is an automated product. There is no automated product in the world. This is the automated problem. Second is this particular test is done in 30 minutes. This gives 12 parameter reports, which is a full fledged complete scientific method of doing the thing. And this uploads the report directly onto the government portal. And government portal gives, on the basis of AI, it gives fertilizer recommendation properly crop-wise. These are the USPs of this machine. Does it uh, give major and mi micronutrients? Yeah, it gives macro and micronutrient both uh, recommendation. And it gives crop-wise, say paddy uh, for a particular, uh, it will require a different composition. Mirchi will require a different composition. Like that, it will give different. Does it give EC, pH and organic carbon? Yeah, it gives all the, there are around 12 parameters, EC, pH, organic carbon, uh, rest, uh, there are around 12 parameters, so it's a holistic test. We will be adding up three tests, making it 15 in next version of the Bovision equipment. What is the accuracy rate of the test? 95%, it is a, uh, more than 95%. So we, uh, while we claim it is more than 98%, but we say more than 95% uh, in this particular thing. What is the cost of this kit? Kit is costing around 2 lakh 12,000. It's a MRP. And uh, uh, there is a chemical cartridge which is required. This chemical cartridge is costing around 18,500, which can do around 100 tests. Whom will be benefited by this? There are five beneficiaries. First is government, which is saving into subsidy. Second is farmer, who is getting a right kind of recommendation, right kind of apt a fertilizer and government is giving this particular soil health card free of cost where government is spending 300 rupees per card and the village level entrepreneur who is uh, executing that card or uh, performing that card will get that particular so third component is village level entrepreneur today we have uh, set up around 60 shops which are started with a soil health card then now they are fertilizer shops they are uh, preferred partners there where farmers take the uh, fertilizers as well as seed from them and they are making turnover of these 16 shops, so making turnover of between 1 crore to 1.5 crore and earning 1, 1 to 1.5 lakh rupees per month. Fourth uh, person, uh, thing is, health-wise, this will help all the citizens of India, where chemical re residue will be reduced. And sixth is the Mother Earth. Basically, topsoil of India, 75% topsoil of India is already everywhere on the world, world is already uh, the, eroded. There are certain problems. It is already because of excessive use of chemicals, it's 
become and india is not able to export the product being a 65% of uh, uh, agriculture uh, dependent economy india not being able to export what will happen is ki this particular thing will open up the nation and we will have increase in gdp increase in export high media has developed a product which regenerates a land so we are rejuvenating a mother earth that is why we call it as a bhumi seva that is why we have started this initiative but the mission cost is you are saying 2 lakhs 2 lakh 12000 yeah. the uh, any lab which is set up by government is around 60 to 70 lakh rupees expense the same work automated efficient within 30 minutes is done by 2 lakh 12000 who will buy this product this product will be purchased by the village level entrepreneurs today india has got more than 6 lakhs uh, vles we have tied up with uh, uh, all india medical association the agreements are going on where 12 lakh 15000 shops are there which are medical shops these medical shops will be promoting soil test as well as they will have shop in shop uh, bhumi sai is a shop in shop model where we supply a machine along with the printer along with one lamination machine and ups so that entrepreneur or a, a rural uh, medical shop or rural uh, uh, csc center can uh, start this activity and get 300 rupees from the government it's a entrepreneur program designed by uh, bhumi uh, bhumi seva where entrepreneur gets around 95% loan in certain cases 90% depending on the category and that can be explained and just with 5% or 10% margin money he can start his business and he gets a subsidy up to 35% okay you are going to sell this product to entrepreneurs and rural and unemployed people Sarah. yeah right but how much they will charge from you, from the farmer there are three cases one is called as allocated cases where government gives 300 rupees there is second case which is a non allocated case where, where government gives only a soil collection money 20 rupees and rest he can charge farmers and third is the fully funded cases what we have done is we call it as a psa we are uh, personal social responsibility we have creating a campaign where meri mitti mera desh meri mitti mera gaon meri mitti like what happens is there are n number of nris in india they can do a particular csr activity they can give this particular test free to farmer so we have created three segment areas we have done one is nris second is high net worth individuals and third is urban citizens ultimately whatever we are doing if the soil is reconditioned and chemical is particularly uh, less uh, residue chemical it is affecting everybody it is affecting our farmer's son he does not know ignorantly is putting uh, chemical it is affecting urban citizen it is aff- affecting every person so it's a joint responsibility of everybody personal social responsibility i call it so we have uh, worked on work, work, working of all, all india medical association in 12.5 lakh shop then schools which will be edu- students will be educating so cost consumer is also ignorant farmer is also ignorant so there is some sort of uh, awareness campaign has to be done so this will be done through this particular thing there will be three categories one is donate a machine donate a test and donate a kit sir please explain about the mission how it works and uh, what are the services required and what should be changed frequently regarding chemicals and whatever we have three models first model is shop in shop where particular csc center or a med- medical shop or a fertilizer shop can keep this equipment there one kva ups is given one printer is given one lamination machine is given so and a bhuvijan equipment is given bhuvijan equipment, uh, equipment uh, only requires uh, 12 watt power and it runs on a battery also so there is no issue now let us come down to the battery uh, uh, space requirement so space will be around 50 square feet to 100 square feet is more than enough to have this kind of lab because this is a, there is a bhumi seva rack inside that it is fitted so you just have to put in shop in shop second model is a vehicle he can put it on a vehicle and go to gram panchayat stay there for 2 3 days do the soil test collect the soil and do that particular test or take the even he can take the machine equipment there we have uh, introducing a uh, movie which is a spain amid vehicle for uh, it has been robust vehicle and that vehicle has been uh, now will be manufactured in india all the rights uh, the company has been take over by e by go so this uh, can be a mobile lab and third is a soil test as a service as i told you corporates and all that they will be giving as a service to the thing so these are the three models mandatory maintenance and uh, service of the machine yeah. 
machine comes with a one year warranty we give the maintenance uh, in that particular thing and we have uh, 363 service points at this moment and we are expanding more so every district will have a service engineer we are, every day we are training around 40 50 people on this two days program and all so we are uh, expanding the service network already we have more than uh, 150 service engineers of pan india we will be having 533 like that so service uh, is not an issue for this particular thing the equipment has got a tablet installed which gives a service uh, so uh, the particular valley can immediately put in the service request automatically it is coming to our particular uh, crm uh, erp and uh, the service engineer is allocated to that and do you give training to the those who approach you we have already tied up with a uh, a uh, companies where they are providing training at uh, 30 service point uh, training points have been created in india where there will be a bulk training can be given we have developed certain videos which will explain our videos where then we are uh, introducing two courses uh, it will be nsdl certified courses where soil test uh, authorized soil test operator and we can say certified soil test operator and certified soil test engineer equipment engineer so this particular uh, thing is going on and by next uh, month end uh, the courses will be also introduced these will be available online people can get a certification on that particular from nsdl national skill development and that particular thing work is going on if anybody is interested about this yeah, yeah we have a website bumisebar.com you can uh, go to website in a contact center there is a mail ids accordingly you can contact and then when we appoint vles or district sockets we'll be updating that list on our uh, so you can uh, in in your region you can contact those people okay thank you sir thank you very much for your information yeah. thanks a lot thanks a lot